I told you I couldn't make it till lunchtime. This was kind of a little bit of obvious. If you want to sneak something, you got to be careful. You got to kind of be consistent and make it look like it's a professional way of screwing the system. The sad part of this is that it's kind of obvious when you see it. In order to allow my slide out to go in and get the water out of there. Hmm, okay. That's kind of weird. So I had water in there. All right. So now I'm going to check my floor here. So my floor of my slide out, if ever you see this on the unit, think twice. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Ocala, Florida, about to inspect this Integra Vision 29F. Now it's a 2020, so stick around. We know that it's pre-owned. Our customers are back home. Fingers crossed that we find nothing and don't call them before noon. You stick around. We'll update you at noon and the end of the day. First glimpse, beautiful Vision Integra. So, we pull up here this morning, nothing's ready. Okay, so why is nothing ready? Typically, they're pretty good here and consistent. So, no, our rig is parked way over there by the fuel tank, which is not supposed to be. And so we got into the unit, looked at a couple of things, can't even start the engine. So the unit's ready for inspection? No, it's not. Batteries are dead, that's why it's running right now. So first glimpse, this slide out, that's the first thing you can see. It's actually not touching. So the bulb seal is not touching. And underneath here, I can see I don't even have a seal that is touching here. So now I could be inside the floor. So, hmm, okay, who knows what that's gonna do. But that's first glimpse. Same as here, I can see my bulb seal coming up to here, to about here, and my corner is here. Here, there's nothing. So this is going right inside. Hmm wonder what that might reserve. Let's go see if we can make it to lunchtime. Let's go check what Lowell has inside. So come on in. We're going to have my first glimpse and stow and go. So the first thing I see when I walk in right down here by my feet, it almost looks like, I don't know, somebody dropped cigarettes. I'm not sure. And of course, the leather is quite peeled coming through. Now, I just walked through here. Stow and go, though, check this out. I have access to all my kitchen and also the bathroom right here, which takes me right straight through to my bedroom. So I do have good access to, to my bedroom as well. Holy smokes, let me tell you, that is not a very comfortable mattress. And if your mattress isn't comfortable, today's video is sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding. Ultimate in comfort for your home away from home, the RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Whether you're on a cross-country adventure or parked at your favorite campground, Brooklyn Bedding's RV mattress ensures you wake up refreshed and ready for the next adventure. Experience the comfort you deserve with Brooklyn Bedding because every journey should be accompanied by a great night's sleep. They feature a 120-night comfort sleep trial, free shipping, financing, and a 10-year warranty. Upgrade your RV experience today. Visit RVMattress.com and sleep your way to adventure. A discount code is in the description below. So remember, getting a good night's sleep is pretty important when you're on the road. But back to my stow and go, we also have some bunks right over here. So kids have access to climb right up and get to the bunks. Honestly, this stow and go is phenomenal in my opinion. Now stick around, I'm going to update you at noon on what we find so far. All right, I told you I couldn't make it till lunchtime. This was kind of a little bit of obvious. First of all, we couldn't start this, if you remember, a couple of minutes ago. I already tested the battery. Battery cannot keep a charge. The charger charges, the inverter actually works. Oh good, so now we can start the unit. Now we need the power boost from the house batteries to be able to, to start this. Long story short, we make this run. Now we're up to the slide out. If you want to sneak something, you got to be careful. You got to kind of be consistent and make it look like it's a professional way of screwing the system. The sad part of this is that it's kind of obvious when you see it. So right here, I've got a shitload of little holes that were drilled in there. 
So I actually had to cut this bulb seal in order to allow my slide out to go in and get the water out of there. Hmm, okay, that's kind of weird. So I had water in there. All right, so now I'm gonna check my floor here. So my floor of my slide out, which remember this, because now I'm talking about the floor of the slide out and then the slide out is gonna go inside. Then we'll go forward to inside. This floor has reading. I get reading about the 50 some percent, but, but that's one thing, that's one end. So let's go check out the other end. Same here. If you're gonna try to get away with something or screw the system, there's some things that are kind of obvious. So if ever you see this on the unit, think twice. There's a reason why people drill little holes. We saw that on the Class C before in the front end. Are you for real? Same here as in the front. So here's all my holes. So I'll drill holes because I've got water. I got water here. Holy Jesus, I got water. So imagine this. So this bulb seal that has been cut off, what happened is that when it's open and you can see the bottom seal stays open, when it rains, when this slide out is open and it rains, the water comes in behind the, the wiper seal and actually goes into the floor here. Let's try to do this. So, so this end is all soft, and, okay? And that's where I'll have reading up to, I don't know, 50, 60, whatever I'll have. So here's the kind of reading that I get up here. So that is, that is totally, this is totally done. So that's just, that's just to confirm the outside. So if my water's coming in behind my seal that actually drops in here and brings it up to my floor, I wonder when this is closed and this bulb seal is open and this slide out is open a little bit and I got all the fume of when I travel and it's raining, where's the water gonna puddle from here? Maybe inside. Let's go check what Lowell has for us. Okay, so now that you've seen what Pierre had to show you outside, well, he had to confirm some things with me on the inside. So, of course, I came right down here. And if you can see this, and I'm sure you can, all this movement in the floor down here. So this floor is really soft. But not just that. Let's go into the bedroom. So come on back here and see what this is looking like in here. Now it's kind of tight. This mattress really doesn't belong here. Okay, so we're gonna come down here in the corner of the bedroom. And I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> hold, hold on. Let me see if I put my hand there. There we go. Can you see the movement that my fingers are doing on the floor down here? This is very soft. And I am gonna get out of this corner. Somehow, some way, I am gonna get out. <laughs> see the thing? We're like in a jungle gym in some of these RVs. It's a lot of fun. But while we're coming back here, I'm gonna show you something in the bathroom. So I'm in here, and you know, I haven't done my water yet, but I'm gonna show you this right here. So the shower has moved away from the wall, as you can see. But not only that, let me take you, let me take you inside the shower. So when I come in here, checking things this morning, I wanted to see about my sealant. So this is what I'm seeing, is that the shower has separated right away from the frame of the glass. Do you think it's gonna leak? I think it's gonna leak. But I've got another thing to show you. So come on out here. So when I was doing the bunk over the top of the captain's seat here today, I found that these tracks are incredibly loose. I don't know about you. I wouldn't wanna be sleeping up there. That is for sure going to fall one day if somebody doesn't screw that in. So I think that it's time for us to make that dreaded call. So we'll get back to you and let you know what our customers say. All right, guys, we made the dreaded call. Unfortunately, 
we had to make this call. But it's also fortunate that he hired RV inspection team that could come in here and visually see the things that he wasn't tuned into. Now he knows. He's not up for a project. He said, I've had plenty of projects in my life. That's not a project that I'm looking to do. Is this a bust or a buy for you? I think he made the right call. What do you think? Put it in the comments below and let us know how you would feel if this were you and we had to make this call to you today. Hopefully, we've taught you a little bit today on what to look for when you're going in to find yourself an RV prior to hiring the experts to come in and inspect it for you. So we hope you live with no excuses and travel with no regrets. So remember and do never forget.